Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome to this edition of This is Jersey. We're at Jersey City University, a little known institution that makes a big impact on student population in northern part of the state. I have President Sue Henderson with me to talk about NJCU and why everyone in New Jersey should know about it. So tell us about the university. I think New Jersey City University, NJCU, is well kept secret, which we're trying to be not so much a secret anymore. Uh, we're located in Jersey City. It is the fastest growing city in the state. And we have an institution that's dedicated to not only educating students from this region, but beyond. And we think what we do here is prepare students who leave us to really populate the workforce. Now, as a state school, are you same in price as other schools? So each institution has the opportunity to set its own tuition. So of all the state schools, we have the lowest tuition. And you find that our students who leave here leave with the lowest amount of debt, which we're very proud of. So we think we're very uh, we have a lot of bang for your buck. So what are some of the programs and projects uh, that most of your students study here at NJC? Oh, we have some fabulous programs. Although we started out as a teacher's college, we have developed a fabulous business program. We have a great music, dance, and theater program. The faculty of music, dance, and theater worked on Broadway, worked in the Metropolitan Opera. They worked at Carnegie Hall. And what you find is they are training our students to learn how to be those kind of performers. So you may see them this summer at Summer Stock in New Jersey as they begin to prepare. I had one of my graduates who left last year, she came back, and this year she's going to be working on the Disney cruises. So it's a great place to start your career. Uh, we have jazz performers who are out working in Manhattan and beyond. So music, dance, and theater is very strong. Here's another program that's really strong here, which really might surprise you, is our, our history department. The students who graduate from that program are incredible writers, and they go on to do really good things. So many of them go to law school, but it's, it's a department that really cares about its students. They're very committed, but they also have very high expectations for them. Being in the city, your students are connected to New York City. How does that work for your performing arts students? So in performing arts, in business, um, in communications, in marketing, it's critical that our students have an opportunity to, to do internships. So the fact that we are 22 minutes from, from the city means that they can get those kinds of opportunities in the city. As a matter of fact, we used to have students here come across, from across the country as a part of National Student Exchange to spend a semester with us taking our classes and doing internships in the city because we're so close. And that's one of the reasons we are moving our business school to the waterfront. We'll be right there in the middle of the business field. You mentioned earlier that your school was founded as a teacher's college. Tell me about your teaching program. Teaching program is quite strong here. If I talk to my early graduates, uh, they feel like they were prepared to go into the classroom and be leaders. Another field that's been very strong for a long time here is criminal justice and security studies. Uh, I think the fact that we were so close to where some of the 9-11 things, that has really catapulted us sort of into the national prominence there. So the faculty who teach in the Security Studies program, you will find that they worked in, as what I call those three-letter agencies. Uh, I have alumni who work in Washington, D.C., who worked the NSA, the FBI, the CIA. So what we do is train leadership in that area. So tell me about your study abroad program. I know it's huge. Oh, study abroad is really important to us. Uh, many of our students have not been out of Jersey. So for them to go abroad is fabulous. So our foundation supports them. Our faculty will take them out two to three weeks and they do it as part of the course. And I think it's broadened their perspective and I think it's enriched their lives. You know, when we were younger, we didn't have that. So the no. students get an opportunity to do this, right? I agree. It's just an amazing thing because uh, the students have been places like, they've been to Italy, they've been to Oman, they've been to China, we've been to India. Uh, you name the country, they've been there. They were in Paris. This, uh, this spring, a bunch of honor students were in China for a week studying with one of our faculty members. So it's an amazing experience for all of us. Well, I understand you have a West Campus. Tell me about the West Campus. We do. The West Campus is a piece of property that the previous president bought and remediated over a period of about eight years. It's 22 acres, and it's designed to help revitalize this part of the city. As you know, Jersey City's really on, been on the move. 
But the part that's been on the move, it's predominantly area that is close to the Hudson River. We're on the other side. And the mayor is very eager to have this part of the city be revitalized. So we're taking our 22 acres and we're taking the P3 legislation that is a, a, just a real benefit of being in the state of New Jersey and being able to put on that piece of property something like a shop right, a market rate housing, and all those things will help to fund a new music, dance, and theater program building for us. On that same piece of property, we are already constructing another housing project. Uh, we have two housing units right now. We need to grow that because of the number of students that we need to grow, and putting that new housing will help us. Whenever your university is in a city, you always have an, always have an issue of physical plant. I understand you're going to take some buildings down and add some new ones. What are you going to do to the main campus? So the main campus, we have $32 million from the state to redo the science building. Our science faculty do an amazing job. They have great equipment and not so great spaces. So we have $32 million from the state. We're putting in another 10. We're going to take our music, dance, and theater, Margaret Williams Theater and redo it. And then there's a building here that we'll probably need to take down because it was built in the 70s and it is past its prime. So these are things we think will help revitalize this campus, but then also will help us in concert with a new campus that we're building. You talk a lot about the arts. Tell me, why are arts so important specifically to you here at the university? So I think Jersey City, as well as Hoboken, has, has really grown in, in one sense because of the arts. And the arts has been a core value of this institution since it was started. Not only is music, dance, and theater important here, but we have a really good art program. As I was telling you, our alumni in art, they're leaders in the field. So we want our students really out there working, and then we want our faculty alum involved. We're involved in the arts within the city. We do a jazz program every uh, September on the waterfront, but we're adding three other venues this summer to do um, musical performances and other kinds of performances in the other parks around here. Finally, the Lowe's is a building that's being redone. Uh, the mayor's is an initiative of his, and we will be providing for the community, the, the uh, community performances after that opens. So we're excited. Now, nothing of, like this can happen without good funding and a foundation. Tell me, how do you raise most of your money? So the, the funding that we get is through our foundation and from the good work that's done, people on that staff and our alumni and people are committed to the institution. I think people in Jersey City, and I have found this true to be in the state of New Jersey, they're committed to things like the arts, but they're also committed into making places like this better. Uh, we get tremendous support because they know that their money here is making such an impact. That's fantastic. When we come back, I want to bring Bernie McSherry on to talk about the School of Business. We'll do that when we come back. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to This is Jersey. I have New Jersey City University Business School professor Bernie McSherry here to give us some information about his up and coming branch of the university. Bernie, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. And you're in charge of the business school. Tell me what's so special about the NJCU Business School. Well, it's an exciting time for us. Uh, we are moving into a brand new facility down on the harbor side. Uh, we we're going to have a front row seat overlooking Wall Street and right in the heart of Jersey City's financial district. Um, it's going to give us really unparalleled access to the business community. There are very few schools in the state that really are going to be in a financial center like that. And we believe that we're going to be able to attract faculty, uh, students, and local business people to come in and really work with us. Why is it important for the university to have a business school? Bottom line, it's about jobs. I came here to, uh, to help students learn the ways of business, to help them go out into the field and get jobs. We're trying to build something that combines theory and practice. So many of our faculty, if not all of our faculty, have had significant real life experience besides their academic backgrounds. So by doing so, they can give students a feel for, for what's in the textbook, but they can also illuminate about what's happening in the, in the actual field. And what are some elements that you're working with to develop the business school? We spun out of the business administration department a couple of years ago, and now we've got five established uh, departments, accounting, finance, marketing management, and economics. Uh, we've got graduate programs in organizational leadership, marketing. Uh, we've got certificate programs in finance and things like that. So we, we, we're trying to put together a full array of programming that will appeal to students uh, across the state and the region. As a professional in business, what are some of the things you look for with students who are thinking of getting into business and finance? Perhaps I'm a little prejudiced from my own experience, but I'm looking for people with, with real get up and go, with drive. Students come into this, this field uh, excited about it, but they really don't understand what it means to be in business. Uh, and as they learn and, and you can see them come to life, it, it's, it's a really wonderful thing to see. You know, some quantitative skills are always good, but part of it's personality. You have to have the whole package. 
So Bernie, as students are applying now to the college, they're going to be entering into the new facility. Tell me about what this new facility is going to look like. It's an exciting space, really. It's uh, on the Hudson River, directly overlooking Lower Manhattan. It's adjacent to the Exchange Place Path Station and the Harborside Light Rail Stop. So it's got wonderful connectivity for, all, for folks from all over the state who can get to it. Uh, the facility itself is 70,000 square feet. We're going to have 18 instructional classroom spaces, a data science center, and a uh, simulated trading lab right in the middle of it as, as the centerpiece of the, of the entire facility. You said it was an old warehouse. Tell me about that. Yeah, it was, it's an old warehouse that dates back, I guess, to the turn of the last century. Um, you know, Jersey City was a hub of commerce uh, for many, many years, and it's interesting how it's changed, right? In those days, it was moving physical goods, and now we're in a time where much of the, the activity is done electronically, and, and the, the, many of the cables that support uh, Wall Street, the op fiber optic cables, uh, run right through Jersey City. Is there something exciting about doing this in Jersey City that seems to be running at a rapid pace now? I think it's an amazing time to be here. When you think about where our business school is going to be located, we're a stone's throw from Ellis Island. Uh, we're no longer in the shadow of Wall Street. It's a little bit across the room. The things are happening in this city that I've never seen before in any one place. And I think you know our students are coming to us. Uh, they're really deserving students. And they're really trying to get a handle on the, the American dream. And this is our, our chance to help them along the way. The mayor, Stephen Fulop, has been trying to get businesses here. Are you working along with them to get your students involved? We are working with uh, the mayor's office, and one of the things we're most excited about is our proximity to the business community down there at the waterfront is going to give us lots of opportunities for in expanded internship offerings uh, and work-study experiences in, in a way that we perhaps ha have not been able to do prior to this. A lot of people say that it's difficult to be an entrepreneur. Do you find that to be the case? And what are your students finding once they graduate? Well, it's never easy to be an entrepreneur. I was an entrepreneur prior life, and when things are going well, it's wonderful. When it's not going so well, there's nobody to turn to but yourself, right? It's all on you. Uh, what I am finding is our students have a great uh, entrepreneurial streak in them. Many of them are planning on coming through our program and getting out there and starting new businesses. You know, people are understanding that perhaps uh, traditional pathways in corporate America have changed and they're looking to make their own mark. We have an entrepreneurship center and we're actually having a composition uh, this week for student entrepreneurs. Great. Tell us about the international element of the School of Business. It's really quite remarkable. We, we have a very substantial uh, international component, especially in our graduate programs. We've got students from all around the world coming in. And Jersey City itself, this, this part of the state itself, is filled with people from all over the world. So in a typical classroom of 20 or 25 students, we sometimes will have people from 15 different nations in the classroom sharing their experiences and, and helping our students to really develop a global perspective that it's really hard to do in other ways. One last question, how can potential students find out more about your program? Well, we'd like to direct them to our website, uh, njcu.edu, business programs, and uh, they can call my office if they'd like. Bernie, thank you so much for being here. Good luck with the School of Business, and hopefully we'll be back soon. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.